Introduction to Printer In this video, we are going to learn about printers. What is a printer? A printer is an electromechanical device which converts the text and graphical documents from electronic form to the physical form. They are the external peripheral devices which are connected with the computers or laptops through a cable or wirelessly to receive input data and print them on the papers. A wide range of printers are available with a variety of features ranging from printing black and white text documents to high quality colored graphic images. Quality of printers is identified by its features like color quality, speed of printing, resolution, etc. Modern printers come with multi-purpose function that is, they are combination of printer, scanner, photocopier, fax, etc. Uses of printers Press printing machines are widely used in press to print news, advertisement, invitations, etc. Receipts Printers are used in sales and money transaction where a receipt needs to be produced. Tickets Printers are used to issue tickets in many places such as railways, buses, theatres, etc. Documents Printers are used to print documents with images and ID proofs in offices and homes. In photo studios, color printers are used in Photoshop to print photos. Types of printer In this video, we are going to see about types of printers. Since the invention of the printing technology, a variety of technologies have been employed in computer printers. Printers are broadly categorized as Impact printers, non-impact printers. Impact printers are classified into two types. They are character printers, line printers. Non-impact printers are classified into two types. They are inkjet printer, laser printer. Impact printer an impact printer is a type of printer that operates by striking a metal or plastic head against an inked ribbon. The inked ribbon is pressed against the paper, marking the page with the appropriate character, dot, line or symbol. Print quality depends on the quality of the inked ribbon, but these printers are mainly used for Printing backup copies of large amounts of data. Still, these printers are used in some law offices for letter quality printing, which are closely resembles like office typewriters, except that they are controlled by the computer. Impact printers are classified into two types. They are character printers, line printers. Character printers Character printers are printers which print only one character at a time. Character printers are further divided into two types. Dot matrix printer, daisy wheel printer. Dot matrix printer Dot matrix printer is a popular computer printer that uses an array of metal pins aligned in a column, striking an ink ribbon positioned between the pins and the paper, creating dots on the paper. These combination of dots form the desired shape on the paper. The speed of a dot matrix printer is measured by the number of characters per second, CPS. The average speed of most dot matrix printers range from 50 to 550 characters per second, CPS depending on desired print quality. The quality of print is determined by the number of pins used varying from 9 to 24. Daisy wheel printer 
Daisy wheel printer uses a metal or plastic disc containing each of the letters, numbers and other characters it supports. To print a character, the printer rotates the disc until the desired letter is facing the paper. Then, a hammer strikes the disc, forcing the character to hit an ink ribbon, leaving an impression of the character on the paper. These printers are generally used for word processing in offices with very nice quality representation. Line printers Line printers are printers which print only one line at a time. Line printers are further divided into two types. They are drum printer, chain printer. Drum printer A drum printer is an old line printer technology that uses formed character images around a cylindrical drum as its printing mechanism. The surface of drum is divided into number of tracks. Total tracks are equal to the size of the paper. That is, for a paper width of 132 characters, drum will have 132 tracks. Chain printer Chain printer is a character printer which embossed of characters that rotates horizontally in front of paper. A standard character set may have 48, 64, 96 characters. The chain spins horizontally around a set of hammers. When the desired character is in front of the selected print column, the corresponding hammer hits the paper into the ribbon. Non-impact printers In this video, we are going to see about non-impact printers. The printers that does not operate by striking a head against a ribbon. Non-impact printers are classified into two types. They are inkjet printer, laser printer. Inkjet printer Inkjet printer is a type of computer printer that creates a digital image by propelling droplets of ink onto paper, plastic or other substrates. Currently, most inkjet printers use either thermal inkjet or piezoelectric inkjet technology. Most inkjet manufacturers use this technology in consumer inkjet printers. Piezoelectric inkjet technology is used with all printers and industrial inkjet printers. Generally, monochrome, that is black and white printers, contain a black colored ink cartridge and a color printer contains two cartridges, one with black ink and other with primary colors, cyan, magenta and yellow. An inkjet printer can print 200 to several hundred papers depending on the nature of the hard copy before the ink cartridge need to be replaced. Inkjet printers are the most popular printers for home and small scale offices for their reasonable cost and a high quality of printing. Laser printer Laser printing is an electrostatic digital printing process that rapidly produces high quality text and graphics on the paper. Laser printers are the most popular printers that are mainly used for large scale qualitative printing. They are among the most popularly used fastest printers available in the market. A laser printer uses a slight different approach for printing. It does not use ink like inkjet printers. Instead, it uses a very fine powder known as toner. Most laser printers come with a basic set of fonts called internal or resident fonts, but user can add additional fonts in one of two ways. Font cartridges, soft fonts. Other types of printers Photo printer, dye sublimation printer, thermal printer, 
all in one printer photo printer a photo printer is an inkjet printer that produces images that copy the print resolution and the color range of prints from a photographic film nowadays most photo printers are functioning independently without the need of a computer dye sublimation printer a dye sublimation printer or dye sub printer is a computer printer which employs a printing process that uses heat to transfer dye onto materials such as plastic card paper or fabric the sublimation name was first applied because the dye was considered for transition between the solid and gas states without going through a liquid stage thermal printer a thermal impact printer or electrothermal printer is a printer that uses heated pins to burn images onto heat sensitive paper they are used in most of the handheld devices more often user can see in the bus conductor ticket system credit card billing system all in one printer an all in one printer is a device made up of multiple peripheral functionalities and capabilities including printing copying and scanning all in one printers provide centralized document management for large and small enterprises interfacing cables and signals in this video we will learn about interfacing cables and signals in printer interfacing cables printer cable refers to the cable that carries data between a computer and a printer serial cable parallel cable usb cable serial cable serial printer cables are mostly used in high mass printing situations serial printer cable consists of a 9 pin or 25 pin connector attached to one or both ends of the serial cable and are used on computers that have serial ports they also yield high quality printing results the major disadvantage is that they are not compatible with most computers because most computers do not have serial ports parallel cable parallel cables are also referred to as centronix cables after the manufacturer that popularized the standard connecting a printer with a parallel cable is simple because computer connector and the printer connector are different parallel printer cables are mostly used in dot matrix printers and old computers USB USB printer cable have quick communication with printers because of their simple setup The USB cable offers the ability to connect many different devices such as printers scanners cameras and drives with a common connection USB are especially efficient for high printing volumes comparison speed comparing speed usb cable is faster than serial and parallel cable physical size while comparing physical size usb is small and compact than serial and parallel cable interfacing signals serial printer interface has 9 signals they are dcd data carrier detect SIN serial input SOUT serial output DTR data terminal ready GND signal ground DSR data set ready RTS request to send CTS clear to send RI ring indicator Parallel printer interface has three types of signals they are data there are eight data signals available such as data 0 
data 1 and so on up to data 7. The data lines are the parallel paths used to transfer data to the printer. Control. There are four control signals such as Strobe, Auto Feed, Initialize, Select In. Transfers of data are synchronized with an appropriate sequence of control signals. Status. There are five status signals available at the interface. They are AC, Transfer Complete, BC, Printer BC, Paper Empty, Paper Not Available, Select, Printer Select, Error, Error Detected. Printer readiness is indicated through the parallel interface by a set of signals called status lines. USB interface contain four signals. They are positive 5 volt power, negative data, positive data, ground. Printer dual inline package DIP switches. In this video, we are going to see about printer dual inline package DIP switches. A dual inline packet switch DIP is a set of manual electrical switches designed to hold configuration settings and select the interrupt request IRQ. DIP switches are used in place of jumper blocks. Their main advantages are that they are quicker to change and there are no parts to lose. DIP switchers are found on motherboards, expansion cards or auxiliary cards. They consist of tiny rectangular components that contain parallel rows of terminals, that is terminal pins and a connecting mechanism to the circuit board. There are many different kinds of DIP switches. Some of the most common DIP switches are Rotary DIP switch slide and rocker DIP switch, rotary DIP switch. Rotary DIP switches contain multiple electrical contacts, one of which is selected by rotating the switch to align it with a number printed on the package. These may be large like thumb wheels or so small that a screwdriver must be used to change them. Although there are also small potentiometers of this type. Slide and Rocker DIP Switch The slide and rocker DIP switches are typical on or off switches with the SPST single pole single throw contacts. They allow each switch to select a 1 bit binary value. The values of all switches in the package can also be interpreted as one number. Printer Ports In this video, we are going to learn about printer ports. Ports in printers are parallel, serial, USB and network ports. Parallel Port Connect one end of the parallel printer cable with a printer and another end to the back side of CPU. The parallel port uses a 25 pin connector and is used to connect printers, computers and other devices that need relatively high bandwidth. The parallel port has 25 pin port but the connection is quite slow at 2 megabits per second. Pin 1 is strobe which sends signal to computer that it is ready to get data. Pin 2 to 9 are data transfer pins. Those are used to transfer data from computer to printer. Pin 10 AC sends the acknowledged signal from the printer to the computer. Pin 11 sends BC signal to computer if the printer is in another work. The printer lets the computer know if it is out of paper by sending a charge on 
pin 12. Pin 13 sends high signal to computer indicating that it is online and ready to print after paper is loaded. Pin 14 is for line feed which gets auto feed signal from computer and moves paper to print each line. Pin 15 sends error message to computer if any error occurred while printing. The computer drops the charge on pin 16 to initialize the printer after error is cleared. Pin 17 will select the device. Pin 18 to 25 are connected to ground. Serial port An asynchronous port on the computer used to connect a serial device to the computer and capable of transmitting one bit at a time. Connect one end of the serial printer cable with printer and another end to the back side of CPU. USB port USB defines the cables, connectors and communications protocols used in a bus for connection, communication and power supply between computers and electronic devices. Connect one end of the USB cable to USB printer port and another with a USB port in CPU. It transfers data at the rate of 4.8 gigabits per second. Network port A printer connected to a network through network port using Ethernet cable. Printer drivers In this video, we are going to see about printer drivers. The printer driver is a computer program that enables an application software, word processor, spreadsheet, graphics program, etc. to communicate with printers. Every printer brand has its unique driver software for a specific operating system which must be installed for the computer to use the printer. Without the drivers, the printer would not be able to work with the computer. The printer may be able to work on its own, but it cannot be associated with the computer at all. The printer driver that allows the printer to communicate to the operating system so that the user can utilize it accordingly. Printer drivers work this way. The user would ask any word processing program to print the document. That particular program would then collaborate with the operating system so the task can be performed. The operating system would attempt to call the printer and put the task in its queue. Let's take an example of a printer. When it is connected to the computer and the specific device driver is installed, a device object is created on the computer which is designed to control the device. When we choose an operation like Ctrl plus P to print a document on the printer, then this command goes to the device driver through the kernel of the operating system. Resultantly, a calling program invokes a routine in the device driver and the driver issues corresponding commands to the microcontrollers within the printer. Further, these microcontrollers Control the components of the printer like motors, etc. to start printing the document. Print Head and Ribbon In this video, we will learn about Print Head and Ribbon. Printer Head A printer head refers to the movable part of the printing machine that contains the printing elements. This is the inside carriage with rubber washers and nubs. With a computer inkjet printer, a printer head is a nozzle 
that places the ink on the printer. When handling the print head, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink nozzles. In a computer dot matrix printer or other impact printers, a printer head is the pin that strikes the ink ribbon against the paper to generate the printed image. Computer laser printers do not have printer heads. There are several types of printer heads. Some of them are piezoelectric print head, thermal print head, acoustic print head, etc. Maintenance of print head, performing daily maintenance scan, extend print head usage, maintain good print quality, reduce overall cost. Cleaning a print head, remove the print head from the printer. Mix isopropyl alcohol and water about 50-50 mixture in a small bowl or plate. It should be just enough to soak the print head. Soak the print head for at least 2 minutes and dry the portion with a cloth. Reinstall the print head unit. Printer ribbon. A typewriter ribbon is an expandable modeler serving the function of transferring pigment to paper in various devices for impact printing. Printer and typewriter ribbon, similar to carbon paper, is commonly used with impact printers and typewriters. When an impact printer head hits the carbon ribbon, a mark on the printer head is left on the paper. Today, this type of printer ribbon and the printers that use them are rarely used with computers. Components of inkjet printer In this video, we are going to see about the components of inkjet printer. Parts of inkjet printer are Print head assembly, paper feed assembly, print head assembly, print head. The print head is the heart of the printer which holds a series of nozzle which sprays the ink drops over the paper. Ink cartridge. Ink cartridge is the part that contains the ink for printing. Generally, monochrome, that is black and white printers, contain a black colored ink cartridge and a color printer contains two cartridges, one with black ink and other with primary colors that is cyan, magenta and yellow. Stepper motor. A stepper motor moves the print head assembly, print head and ink cartridges back and forth across the paper. Some printers have Another stepper motor to plug the print head assembly when the printer is not in use. Belt. A belt is used to attach the print head assembly to the stepper motor. Paper feed assembly. Paper tray or feeder. Most inkjet printers have a tray that user load into the paper. Some printers dispense with the standard tray for a feeder instead. Rollers. A set of rollers pulls the paper from the tray or feeder and advance the paper when the print head assembly is ready for another pass. Paper feed stepper motor. The stepper motor power the rollers to move the paper in the exact increment needed to ensure that a continuous image is printed. Power card. Power card is the primary cable that provides power to the computer and printer. Control circuit. A small but sophisticated amount of circuitry is built into the printer to control all the mechanical aspects of operation as well as decode the information sent to the printer from the computer.
Interface Ports Interfacing ports are used to connect printers with a computer. Parallel ports are used in older printer which is replaced by USB port. Operation of Inkjet Printer In this video, we are going to learn about Operation of Inkjet Printer. An inkjet printer is any printer that places extremely small droplets of ink onto the paper to create an image. A print head scans the page in horizontal strips using the printer's motor assembly to move it from left to right and back again while the paper is rolled up in vertical steps again by the printer. A strip or row of the image is printed, then the paper moves on ready for the next strip. For most inkjet printers, the print head takes about half a second to print a strip across a page. On a typical 8 2 by 2 inch wide page, the print head operating at 300 dpi deposits at least 2475 dots across a page. This translates into an average response time of 2 by 5000th of a second. There are several types of inkjet printing. The most common is drop on demand, DOD, which means squirting small droplets of ink onto paper through tiny nozzles like turning a water hose on and off 5000 times a second. Inkjet printers produce excellent quality print on plain uncoated paper and sends out to the output tray. Depending on the drop generation method, three types of inkjet printers are used. Continuous jet Intermittent jet drops on demand. Advantages and disadvantages of inkjet printer. In this video, we are going to learn about advantages and disadvantages of inkjet printer. Advantages of inkjet printer Low cost and easy to use. High quality of output, capability of printing fine and smooth details, capable of printing in vivid color, good for printing pictures. Inkjet is quieter than dot matrix printer. Disadvantages of inkjet printer The print head is less durable, prone to clogging and damage. The ink cartridges are very expensive to replace. Not good for high volume printing. Printing speed is not as fast as laser printers. Troubleshooting of inkjet printer. Troubleshooting is a form of problem solving often applied to Repair failed products or processes. Step 1. Print a PDF file using Acrobat application. If it does not print correctly, then print another file. If it prints correctly, then first PDF file has some problem. If both the file does not print correctly, go to step 2. Step 2. Print another type of file, for example, .txt file using another application like Microsoft Word or WordPad. If the file prints correctly, then the problem is with Acrobat application. If the file does not print correctly, then the problem is system-wide. It may be due to low system resources, insufficient memory on printer, or due to poor connection between the computer and printer. Go to step 3. 
Step 3. Restart the computer and then print a PDF. If the file prints correctly, then the computer may have been out of memory or resources. If the file does not print correctly, go to step 4. Step 4. Turn off the printer for at least 25 seconds to flash its memory. Then turn it back on and print a PDF. If the file prints correctly, then the printer's memory was too full. If the file does not print correctly, go to step 5. Step 5. Print from another computer. If the file prints correctly, then the first used computer may be unable to connect the printer or the network correctly. If the file does not print correctly, go to step 6. Step 6. Print a PDF file to another printer. If the file prints correctly, then the first computer used may be unable to connect to the original printer. Then, make sure that the printer is connected properly. Some common problems and their possible causes. Prints garbage. No response from printer. Computer gives error message. Print head cannot travel its full horizontal distance. Text has wrong print attributes. Example, bold text not printed as bold. Printout is smeared. Paper jams often. Prints garbage. This usually happens because the wrong printer driver is installed. No response from printer. Computer gives error message. Check for the proper connection of cables and look for an online or select button to press on the printer. Connect using the proper cable types as the printers require. Print head cannot travel its full horizontal distance. Make sure there is nothing obstructing the movement of the print head. Obstructions can result if any of the packages is not removed or if there is a paper jam. Text has wrong print attributes. Example, bold text not printed as bold. The ink cartridge is either clogged or running out of ink. Replace the ink cartridge if the clog cannot be fixed or if the cartridge is almost empty. Printout is smeared. The paper is mismatched to the proper setting for the printer. For example, if high quality photo papers are used, then set the printer's output settings for that paper. Paper jams often. The feeder bin or tray may be overloaded. Remove some paper. Excess humidity may be causing pages to stick together. Components of laser printer In this video, we are going to see about components of laser printer. Photosensitive drum Aluminium cylinder coated with particles of photosensitive compounds used in a laser printer and captures the image to be printed on the page contained with a toner cartridge. Charging roller or corona wire A charge wire in a laser printer that draws the toner from the drum onto the paper. It must be cleaned when the toner cartridge is replaced. Laser beam the laser beam paints the image of the printed page on the drum. Before the laser is fired, the entire surface of the photosensitive drum as well as the paper is given an electrical charge carried by a pair of fine wires. Rotating mirror It scans the charged drum horizontally in precise lines. When the beam flashes on, it reverses the charge of tiny spots on the drum 
corresponding to dots that are to be printed black. Toner and toner cartridges. Laser printers use disposable cartridges and other parts that need periodic replacement to reduce maintenance cost. Toner cylinder holds by also the printer cartridge, often the photosensitive drum. When the level of the toner is too low to produce a uniform or dark print, then cartridge replaced. Primary and transfer corona. The primary corona charges the photosensitive particles on the surface of the drum. The transfer corona charges the surface of the paper just before it reaches the toner area. Erase lamp. Erase lamp baths the drum in light to neutralize the electrical charge on the drum, allowing any remaining particles to be removed before the next print is made. Fuser rollers. To make the image permanent, the toner must now be permanently attached to the paper. The fuser rollers, a heated roller and an opposing pressure roller, fuse toner onto the page. The heated roller employs a non-stick coating to keep the toner from sticking to it. Paper tray Paper tray is a place where the papers to be printed are placed. Belt or roller assembly. Roller assembly draws the paper inside from the paper tray. Operation of laser printer. In this video, we are going to learn about operation of laser printer. Laser printing is an electrostatic digital printing process that rapidly produces high quality text and graphics by passing a laser beam over a charged drum to define a differential charged image. The photoconductive drum is given a positive or negative charge by the charge corona wire. When the drum starts to revolve, a laser beam is shown on it. This laser beam consists of light photons. The laser assembly shines the laser beam on a mirror which is then reflected off the mirror. As a result, the drum that is made up of photoconductive material is discharged. The areas of the drum that are touched by the laser develop charge that is opposite to the charge of the drum. The laser etches figures and characters on the surface of the photoconductive drum the figures or characters are actually a pattern of electric charges. Thereafter, a fine ink powder called toner is sprinkled on the paper. This powder has to be positively charged. After this, the drum rolls over the paper. The paper passes along a belt under the drum. The paper is given a negative charge. This negative charge must be stronger than the charge of the laser etched electric image. This will aid the toner to leave the negative area on the drum for the negatively charged paper. The paper is discharged as it moves out. This will prevent the paper from getting attached to the positively charged drum. The paper moves at the same speed as the drum. The paper is passed through a fuser roller. As the paper passes through a fuse, the toner melts due to heat. The tone is thus fixed on the paper. The fuser rolls out the paper to the output tray. The printing process of a laser printer is thus complete. Stages of laser printer in this video, we are going to learn about stages of laser printer. The stages involved in processing of laser printer are as follows. Cleaning, conditioning, writing, developing, transfer, fusing. Cleaning.
During the first stage of the image formation process, a photosensitive drum's surface is prepared to hold an image through a physical and electrical cleaning process. A printer may have a blade that scraps all excess toner from the drum. Conditioning The photosensitive drum must be conditioned after it has been physically and electrically cleaned. The conditioning process consists of the application of a uniform negative charge on the surface of the photosensitive drum. Writing After rotating past conditioning station, the drum has a uniform high negative charge on its surface. In the writing process, a sweeping laser beam is used to discharge this potential in selected areas by focusing laser light on selected portions of the photosensitive drum. This creates an electrostatic image. This image is later developed into a visible image. Developing in the developing situation, when toner from a developer cylinder is transferred to discharge areas of the drum, the invisible electrostatic image is developed into a visible image on the photosensitive drum. Transfer In this step, the toner attached to the latent image is transferred to the paper. The transfer or corona places a positive charge on the paper. Because the drum was charged negatively, the toner on the drum is attracted to the paper. Fusing The toner is permanently fused to the paper. The printing paper is rolled between a heated roller and a pressure roller. The paper is then moved to the output tray as a printed page. Advantages and Disadvantages of Laser Printer In this video, we are going to learn about Advantages and Disadvantages of Laser Printer. Advantages of Laser Printer The main advantage of laser printer is that they are relatively high speed printer. It uses toner which unlike ink never bleeds. Laser printers usually produce higher quality print. It uses laser beam rather than squirting ink for printing which is a fast scheme. Disadvantages of laser printer Buying a laser printer which can be expensive when compared to other printers. Laser printers are larger and heavier as they need to comprise the imaging drum and laser technology. As they are non-impact printers, Multi-part stationery cannot be used, thus duplicate printing cannot be simultaneously performed. An initial investment only worth it based on user organizations or personal requirements. However, maintenance, servicing and repair of this hardware device is also very high, thus laser printers are not very economical. Laser printers are also dangerous to the atmosphere and users' health. Troubleshooting of laser printer In this video, we are going to learn about troubleshooting of laser printer. Laser printers sometimes fail to work properly or it may produce unexpected or inconsistent results. In such cases, User need to troubleshoot the problems occurred. Some of the general problems which occur on laser printers are Printing is too low Windows is sending print jobs to wrong printer No toner cartridge or open cover 
Paper jam. Printing is too low due to high print density and high dots per inch that is DPI value the print rate gets low and consumes more ink hence the DPI value should be reduced and the echo mode should be enabled Windows is sending print jobs to wrong printer. Hence, the default printer is needed to be selected. Under Devices and Printers, right click the printer which the user wants to make it default and select Set as Default Printer. No toner cartridge or open cover. If the toner is not available, then the printer will displace the install toner cartridge message. The toner should be installed and the user should ensure that it is fully seated. The high voltage power supply might also cause this error. Paper jam. Paper jams could also be caused by user error. The paper may have already been through the printer. The feeding process tends to warp and thicken areas of the page by bunching it up. Specification of latest inkjet printer. In this video, we are going to learn about specification of latest inkjet printer. When compared to old printers, latest printers are faster and convenient to use. It is a common misconception that inkjet printers cannot hold a candle to laser printers. With the advancements in printing technology made within the last few years, Inkjet printers provide high quality printing at fast speeds and lower cost than laser printers. Color inkjet printers are a cost effective approach to getting small business or home office ready for production. Comparison to laser printers, inkjet printers are reasonably priced and more compact and lightweight. Today, most of the inkjet printers are multifunctional. User can print, copy, scan and fax using just one device. Replacing ink cartridges in an inkjet printer are quick and easy to do. Earlier version of inkjet uses two cartridges, one for black color printing and another for color printing, but the new version uses only one cartridge. Specification of latest laser printer. In this video, we are going to learn about specification of latest laser printer. Laser printers can print up to 30 ppm in both color and black and it has high printing speed. Modern laser printers have the features like built-in wireless and Ethernet network interfaces. Hence, the user can easily share the files with everyone on their wired or wireless network. Using the duplex printing feature, user can reduce their printing costs and produce professional looking two-sided documents, presentations and brochures. The color laser printers with wireless networking enables user to print PDF and JPEG files 
directly from their USB flash memory drive without connecting to their PC. The paper tray in laser printers will support different kinds of papers like legal papers, envelopes, etc. The capacity of paper tray can be increased by adding optional tray. The operating cost can be reduced by using high yield replacement toner cartridges. Configuration of printers. In this video, we are going to learn about configuration of printers. Printers allow users' computer work to be viewed and printed beyond the dimensions of their screen. Click Start in the lower left corner of user's computer screen. Select Control Panel from the pop up list. A new window will open. Then click View Devices and Printers. Start. Add printer wizard by clicking the Add a printer icon. Otherwise, right click on the blank space in the printer list area and selecting Add a printer. Now we are going to install a printer that is directly attached to a local parallel port that is the most popular instance. Select Local Printer. And click Next to continue. In normal cases, the system is able to automatically detect the model and connection port of the printer. Otherwise, users have to manually select an effective connection port and the printer model. Click Next. Printers are divided by manufacturers. Select the manufacturer of the printer from the manufacturer's list on the left. Click Next. The printing system may automatically detect some drivers for the printer model and display the recommended driver programs on the screen. And click Next. Then choose the printer name to be added and click Next. Click Finish. Plotters. In this video, we are going to learn about plotters. A plotter is a printing device connected to a computer that operates by moving a pen to the surface of the paper. Plotters are typically white printers designed to reproduce architectural drawings, maps, graphs and diagrams on large sheets of paper xy plotter an xy plotter is a plotter that operates in two axes of motion x and y in order to draw continuous vector graphics and a special mechanism to rise and lower the pen the term was used to differentiate it from standard plotters which had control only of the y-axis, the x-axis being continuously fed to provide a plot of some variable with time. The plotter has a hole in its base where the pen goes through. It was designed to print on both paper and any surface such as a wall. Simply place the plotter against the surface and the pen will draw away through the hole. Roller Plotter
A drum plotter is also known as roller plotter. It also consists of a mechanical device known as the robotic drawing arm that holds a set of colored ink pens or pencils. The robotic drawing arm moves side to side as the paper are rolled back and forth through the roller. In this way, a perfect graph or map is created on the paper. This work is done under the control of the computer. Drum plotters are used to produce continuous output such as billboards and maps.